a very good morning to all of you welcome to anb exam forum student we have come up with a new session and in today's session we are going to see rrb ntpc selection process and uh, we are going to use flow chart for understanding the selection process okay and this video is basically made for you to understand how selection is made for this rrb ntpc okay so without further ado let's begin the session so as you can see uh, rrb ntpc has released basically five post 8000 plus vacancy in these five post okay and for each post uh, different selection process is there uh, some has common things in it some has some other criteria so in this video uh, we will try to clarify all those uh, selection criteria okay so before proceeding uh, i have two small request uh, so that you get many maximum benefit from this video first one is bring your planner notebook and note down okay i repeat bring your planner notebook and note down i know 99% you will not bring anyhow leave it after that you watch this full video to know how the selection process is made for this rrb ntpc okay uh, see whatever we are telling uh, we are basically filtering the notification okay so you get don't confuse with uh, other things okay so anyhow let's uh, begin the session so coming to the first slide so so the journey starts when when you have applied for the post okay so uh, i can understand that most of you have already applied and your journey starts from this point onward okay so after the applying for these five post or any of this post the first stage is the cbt1 okay stage 1 cbt is a first hurdle for your selection process okay so what are the important points you need to know in stage 1 cbt first one you need to understand for all these post the test is common okay so whether you are applying for good strain manager or station master it is common for all the post after that uh, you need to understand it is an objective paper having three section and it will be a computer based test computer based means it will not be an uh, like omr sheet based it will be computer based and there will be three sections and the question paper will be of 100 marks and there will be 100 question and if you see the bifurcation general awareness will have 40 questions mathematics will have 30 questions and general intelligent and reasoning have 30 section okay so, so one important thing that you should not uh, like unknowingly know that this has no current affairs general awareness consists of both static as well as current affairs okay and uh, this question paper will be of 90 minutes and they will be one third negative marking okay one good thing uh, about this stage 1 cbt is that the indicative syllabus for both stage 1 and stage 2 cbt is same okay so if you are preparing for this particular exam you should start preparing for the stage 1 and stage 2 at the same time this is a good thing about this post so once you have given your stage 1 cbt exam you will have a normalization criteria okay so out of 100 marks uh, since the exam will be conducted in different days different phases different sessions okay so obviously difficulty level will be somewhat different for different candidates different for different days as well okay so for this normalization process is carried out in all the examination here again normalization will happen and it will be based on the formula which will be decided by rrb okay so rrb will set one threshold value okay not threshold value it will uh, 
re um, marks uh, like whatever you have scored it will try to regenerate your marks based on the difficulty level at the different sessions okay so you will have certain scores after that which we call as a normalized score okay so let's see the next slide so as you can see once you have your normalized score uh, they will look for the cutoff so the advertisement say that for unreserved it is 40 percent for obc it's 30 ews again 40 sc 30 and st 25 so out of 100 marks if you are belonging to st category you will sh you should have at least 25 percent okay so if you are able to cross this percentage of marks then you will be going to the next step that is merit if you are not able to get the cutoff your journey stop there suppose if you belong to unreserved category and you get 39 percent that is 39 marks your journey stops there okay and if you are able to make it cut off it doesn't mean you are going to have the stage two it means that you will going to be going for merit list okay then a merit list will be made and how it will be made like if you have a good and train manager have say thousand vacancy so they will call 15,000 people for the stage 2 CBT okay so 15 times of vacancy uh, is the merit criteria for going to the stage 2 okay let's go to the stage 2 so stage 2 and stage 1 as I told you uh, it is similar the only difference is the number of questions okay so if you see general awareness in stage 1 we have 40 questions but here they have increased to 50 in mathematics it was 35 now it is 35 previously it was 30 again uh, with general intelligence and reasoning there it was 30 questions now here they are 35 questions and total number of questions now increase it is 120 again 120 marks since each question carry one mark but the time duration remain the same so 90 minutes okay there you have also 90 minutes here you have also 90 minutes but here you have 20 more questions okay so like they are increasing the competition level among those top merit candidates okay again negative marking is of one third okay similar to stage one there will be a normalization this time it will be out of 120 and again the formula will be decided by rrb okay so next so if you see like in the cutoff for stage one similarly we have stage two cutoff here it will be out of 120 marks so like uh, it is on your screen if you belong to unreserved 40% 40% 40 of 120 is 48 marks and uh, you can see the marks uh, like what is the minimum cutoff for going to the merit list so if you belong to ST category it is 30 marks okay so if you are able not able to clear the cutoff then your journey stops here okay so you start preparing for the next exam and if you are able to go through the cutoff again there will be a merit list this time they will only filter half of that previously it was 15 it is now it is eight times of vacancy suppose vacancy are thousand now they will call 800 people for the skill test eight eight thousand sorry eight thousand people for the skill test okay understood okay so those who have qualified the merit list they will go for the skill test student uh, the important point is that this is a qualifying nature means there is no particular score like if you are able to qualify this test uh, the criteria is given in the website you can see it is qualifying in nature okay and different skill tests are required for different posts like CBAT that is computer based aptitude test will typing test for senior clerk and accountants because they need to know how to type and they need to type very fast so their speed uh, in the typing should be uh, like you need to give it okay 
the important point is that there is no skill test for good strain manager and train supervisor okay so if if you have applied for these two posts then there will be no skill test okay so after that again if you have qualified for the skill test they will check for stage 2 cbt marks and whether you have qualified the skill test based on that a merit list will be made so in the previous case we have 1000 vacancies and 8000 were people were called so out of 8000 only 1000 people will be chosen based on stage 2 okay so you can understand stage 2 is very important for qualifying this particular exam okay so if you are not able to get the merit your journey stops here and if you are able to clear stage 2 cbt and qualified skill test you will reach the destination okay means you will get your job and obviously it is subjected to the document verification and medical examination okay so that's it so we have come up uh, to the end so thank you and if you have anything to say regarding this particular exam you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer your questions thank you for watching have a nice day